everybody I've been to Morrison's um, this time around I just quickly wanted to just run through my meal plan with you first um, my shop's just come and I've kind of I've wrote up this plan just quickly um, I just did it on there before just roughly um, but I thought I'd just show you what I've got planned over the next few weeks um, so Monday's already been so I didn't bother writing Monday um, but tomorrow I've wrote this in the wrong order but <laughs> I was basically I'm just gonna put a chicken soup on I brought a new slow cooker and um, I'm just gonna put that in the slow cooker for tomorrow because I'm at work tomorrow um, and then I'm just gonna do um, it was either a salad or I might cook a stir fry in the morning or something and I brought these like little bento boxes um, so I want to use those, but it'll be one of the two things. Um, Wednesday, I'm going to make a cheeseburger pasta bake. I believe that's also again in the slow cooker. I think I've just got to fry them, fry the mince. Um, I'll be off that day, um, so I'll probably make Darren a salad or something he can have for work, and then I'm going to town that day, so I'll probably just have something whilst I'm there. Uh, Thursday, um, I'm going to do, oh, I wrote these in the wrong order, so I've, I've wrote them, <laughs> I'm actually having minestrone soup on the Thursday because that one will be full of vegetables, so I need to obviously use the vegetables first. Um, up here, I was supposed to buy some strawberries, but I did forget to buy them, so... Uh, it's Greek yogurt and chai seeds uh, that I was going to have for breakfast as well as protein shake that I'm using at the moment um, but yeah I've not bought any strawberries but I've bought some bananas that need ripening up so I'll probably use bananas instead of strawberries for now um, then the next day will be ramen um, because that has bean sprouts so that's a veg I need to use soon um, then I'm going to make a chilli cheese sweet potato. I can't remember. I saw this recipe online. So I've not actually made this before. So that would be interesting. Um, I can't remember if it's in the slow cooker or not. But it was that. And then the next day will be. I bought some Yorkshire pudding wraps. And I'm going to put those with some heck chicken sausages. And some veg and some gravy. So that's that sweet one. So my plan is falling all over the place. Um, then the next week I'm either going to do a chicken curry or I want to do a chicken in black pepper sauce. But I've, I couldn't find the black pepper sauce online. I think I can get it off Amazon, I'm not too sure. Or I don't know if to just go to the Chinese shop on Wednesday, I think, when I go to the town. Um, and just pick it up then. So yeah if not it'll be chicken curry um then i'm going to make chicken palm parmesan and vegetables it's like fried well like fried crispy chicken with tomato sauce on top of it um and then wednesday i'm going to do it's like a creamy chicken with ganache which i'm not 100 sure if i'm going to like that i'm a bit picky with cream type sauces um but it looked nice online so we'll give it a go and then thursday i might switch this around i carbonara and that will come with eggs um so i kind of need to use that sooner than later but we'll see um if not it'll be the thursday it'll be the butter chicken which I think is for potatoes and onions um, I think I actually brought korma sauce actually for that and that goes in the slow cooker uh, and then I'm just going to do mac and cheese and then I've got some like leek pies in the freezer that I need using I'm just going to serve that with some chips and veg and gravy um, then the next week I do have this stuff in the freezer still so I've got pizza pizzas sorry <laughs> um and i've got some sausages uh, because sausage casserole was originally on this list here um but obviously i've done one meals too many um so i can do that the week after and i've still got like fish cakes and fish in the freezer that I need using up and stuff so i could potentially pull it out for another week but i never know how my week's gonna actually go 
Um, so this is just, I always say this is just kind of like a rough meal plan because it never ends up being in the order that I plan it. Um, but yeah, either way it gets eaten. So, but yeah, that's basically my meal plan and I shall get on showing you the Morrison shop. I've never been to Morrison's before. Um, I think I used to go like with my dad when I was younger, but I don't, I don't recall ever doing a shop there myself. Um, usually because it's like one of the more expensive supermarkets in the UK. Um, but I had a £15 off voucher that I used. I did notice by oh, Morrison, sorry, um, that they are pretty much, they do kind of the same thing as Okada, not in terms of food, but in terms of doorstep adjustment. Um, which I think basically means they charge you for items that are might be weighed or anything like that. Um, which there isn't in my shop, but I think you do get it refunded. I'm not too sure. You do you do with Ricardo, and I think it was just for first-time customers only. So I'll have to see. Um, also, I didn't have any substitutes with this shop. Um, but I was supposed to have some Tango as well delivered. Some cans, but they've split in the delivery van so the the driver was really nice and everything and he gave us um a refund for the cans so that's not too much of a deal but yeah i'll basically walk you through what i've picked up um so this one isn't actually from morrison's i just wanted to show you this is from amazon i know this was 12 pounds 60 um because at the minute i've been having this for breakfast i have the salted caramel one already over there um i wanted a different flavor so this is the chocolate brownie one um so i picked up two of the four liter semi-skilled milk because i was having it with um almond milk but i've discovered i hate almond milk um so i picked up one for me for my breakfast over the next two weeks um so if yeah if you're new to my channel um this is a shop for two weeks i do um, so I think it come to, I think it was 160 and um, that was even with the £15 off so it was still quite expensive but obviously I got charged £5 for the doorstep adjustment and it was £3.75 delivery as well. But yeah, I just picked up two semi-skinned milk. Um, I picked up these milkshakes. I wanted to get milkshakes. And so we could have them in like smaller portions and take them to work properly instead. Um, so these were two pound, sorry, two for two pound fifty. So I got one chocolate and one strawberry. Um, then I picked up there's just two random peppers at the back. They were fifty five p. Um, I picked up these organic gala apples. Um, they were two pound for those. I've been watching a lot of um, kind of. Oh, sorry like there was a Netflix documentary on like how to live longer basically and um, they were talking about whole foods and organic foods and that kind of thing um, so I was trying to pick them where I can because I did look at whole foods supermarkets online but they're really expensive and it's not something I can afford unfortunately um, but yeah I picked up those I've just got random cherry no baby plum tomatoes they were 80p um, and this kale I think was about 95p I'm kind of guessing on the prices here because I'm not used to Morrison so I'm not 100% sure of the prices to be honest um, but yeah I'm making a minestrone soup so there's different vegetables and stuff so I'm not sure actually if I've got all the vegetables I needed I'm, I think I forgot some I'm not sure. I'll have to check well, yeah, I picked up um, a bag of the wonky lemons. I'm sure these were like 60p or something like those. Um, and then I picked this was in the flash sale, so they do flash sales like a card do um, when you last go to check out. So I got these ripening at home bananas. So of course they're very very green. So these were 66p in the flash sale. A lot of the stuff in the flash sale this week was like vegan food though. So um, I just picked up those some chestnut mushrooms these are £1.10 and then I picked up a bag of these wonky new potatoes I think these were about a pound I do believe for the new potatoes it was actually um in the documentary I was watching 
it was purple sweet potatoes I found that are supposed to be like really nutritious but online they were like £7.50 for a kilogram bag and then the website I was looking at wanted to charge me £10 for delivery um, so I would have been like nearly £17 just for this size bag of potatoes um, so yeah I couldn't do that um, I picked up two lots of grapes, let me just get them. I picked up these sable grapes here, so these are two for three pounds. And then I picked up the cotton, can cotton candy flavour grapes. Um, I've not had Morrison's brand before, but I've had these type of grapes before and they're really delicious. So I picked up those two. And then lettuce at the back. Um, sorry, I don't remember how much this was, but this is just their round lettuce. Um, I picked up some spring onions, which I think was about... I think this was about 90p so a bit more than other supermarkets charge like a sway of like 50p or something like that give a bit of money i just needed some broccoli and cauliflower usually i buy it separately um but this was one pound 39 for the bag which works out cheaper than buying two of those um because i just need it for my casserole soup that i do in my slow cooker so i'm just going to chuck chuck them in that um i've got a random sweet and crispy salad that I'm just going to take to work uh, probably tomorrow or something like that I'm going to add some chicken in that so that was a pound that I went to a cafe with my mum and my sister recently and I ordered a chai tea which was completely by accident so I meant a chai latte but the chai tea was really really nice actually but I don't know what brand they use so it's probably not going to taste the same but um I thought I'd try these. These are the spicy chai twinings. This was £2.49 and you get a bag of 40 in those. I picked up those. Um, I want to drink more flavoured teas. I picked. I was going to pick up some like detox tea but I um, don't know if you can see it but up here I've got like teas already from my Degusta boxes. So I need to drink those really first before I start buying more. Um, I picked up a bag of onions. This was 95p. Then over here I've just got some smoked bat bacon, so that was 2 25 for 6 You can get right ridless, sorry, bacon, I did find out, um, but you only get 6 in the packet, so it didn't really seem worth it. Um, so I just got the 10, because I can just, I'm not a fan of the um, fat on the bacon, so I just peel that off. I picked up these. These weren't on offer, unfortunately. I did have to pay full price, which was three pound fifteen for the chicken sausages. But I have these in um, Yorkshire puddings and stuff, um, and these are like one of my favourite sausages now. So I was happy to pay that. Um, I picked up, I think, six hundred and fifty grams of mince. This is a mixture of beef and pork. So that was four twenty-five which I will say is actually 100 grams less than I do get in other supermarkets. So bear that in mind. Some parmesan, I should be making some spaghetti carbonara. Um, I think there's a chicken cheese dish I'm making as well. Um, so I needed this. I think this was two, two forty nine for that packet. And then I've just picked up a random block of red Leicester. That was, I know it's three pounds something for that. Um, I thought I picked up more teas, unless I didn't. Maybe I forgot. Um, anyway, <laughs> I've got some brie. This is to go with my crackers. Let me just grab them. So I got these. So these were two nineteen, which I have seen on offer sometimes, but they weren't this time. Um, but these I had in a Degusta box, and these were really, really nice. Um, so I've brought these again. That's why I like Degusta boxes, because I find something new I like. So that's that. I then picked up some um, ham. This was 175 so you get five slices and then some chicken tikka slices, which I'm probably going to serve with that salad. So that was £2, and I think there's only like three slices in that. So it's not a lot, unfortunately. It only does like two or three sandwiches at most. <laughs> this was a mistake on my half. I brought these originally and I, I thought I swapped them out for these two but clearly I didn't swap them out I must have done something wrong there so <laughs> I've ended up with four packets of Chris um, but I suppose that will last a month I guess but that's my fault I didn't check properly on that but yeah I just got the Monster Munch uh, there I think they were 3 50 and McCoy's which are my partners and then 
um, harvest snaps and knickknacks. I think we're like 150 something like that. But well, I'll just keep them away for a while. Um, then I got these. These were two for two. Sorry, two for five pound. Um, so I got the Muller Rices. These are apple and raspberry. And then I brought the Muller Rices chocolate hazel caramel, which I keep meaning to try. I don't think I've actually managed to try them yet, but I've got them now. I can never remember. But I've got those. I picked up some wedges. I was just fancying wedges. They were randomly talking about it one day at work what kind of chips they prefer <laughs> and I was just thinking my favourite's wedges <laughs> I picked up some wedges there um that's just some random chicken breasts they were about 425 I believe for 700 grams of frozen breasts I then I've picked up uh, some sour cream that was 75p finally got my hands on this Yorkshire Yorkshire hard tea roast chicken this was 2 99 so it wasn't cheap but I've been wanting to try it for ages although I feel a little conned it looked better on the website than it does actually <laughs> in person so hopefully it tastes as nice as it costs that's that um, I picked up four lunch balls these were 125 I've got a lot of lunch stuff because my partner starts his new job tomorrow and so I need to make Two lots of pat lunches now, um, for like five days a week, so it's like ten different lunches a week, yeah. Um, so I don't know if I've brought enough for pat lunches, I don't think I have, I'm not sure. I might have to buy some more ham and stuff because that's not going to last a lot, but we shall see. Then I picked up some Montanary Jack. I've been wanting to try this forever. I see it in um, oh, a lot of American cooking videos and stuff. I think it's an American cheese. Um, as far as I've searched, Morrison's was the only place that does it. So when I saw it, I had to grab it. <laughs> so I'll probably use this for cheeseburgers that I'm going to make, which is really annoying because I've bought everything else for... The cheeseburgers apart from the actual burgers apparently but yeah that's for that so this was i think these were two two for 450 so i picked up that and i picked some is it air mental something like that there's like the cheese with the holes in it um i just snack on that to be honest as a snack so i've got those two um i got a cabbage now this is like the smallest cabbage i have ever seen <laughs> usually i get like a massive one from supermarkets but yeah this was 80p so it's really quite tiny <laughs> um but it doesn't really matter because there is just two of us and it's just for one recipe anyway so it's more than enough so i'm really not bothered um and then i picked up some corned beef because i'm going to make it's called tatty ash um which is something my mom cooks a lot and it's just basically potatoes, gravy, onion and corned beef in a saucepan and boil away for like half an hour. My partner's not really a fan of it so I tend to have it for dinner on my own. Um, so I'll usually make it last over two days. For me, um, yeah I got that. I picked up some carrot seeds with 50p for one kilogram bag. Sage and onion stuffing that was 55p. I picked up onion gravy. Um, Onion gravy is probably my favourite and this one did have like five star reviews so hopefully it tastes as good as other supermarkets so that was 80p and then there's um I'm going one two three I, I thought I was missing one yeah <laughs> I got four pot noodles there to go for work lunches as well actually I think I might have enough maybe um so that's for that um, some dairy lee dungas for snap for work. These were one seventy five. I've got this reina which I've had from Ocado before. This was an offer for two pound fifty. And this is really nice um, ganache. Um, it's really delicious. I don't know how to serve it with some pasta or something. I'm not decided yet. Fridge that need using up. So these were, I think these were one ninety nine for a pack of four. These are the brioche ones. I've never tried this brand before. So we'll see about that. Wholemeal bread with added sourdough. This was £1.30. And it's quite a big 
big loaf for I brought this for sandwiches and for like spaghetti on toast and um, that's my brand new slow cooker I've just brought not for Morris <laughs> but I just thought I'd show you anyway um it was 49.95 I think from Amazon and yeah it just look it just looks really nice I want to do my kitchen in this kind of like design like the gold and black kind of thing but yeah that's that um, usually I buy York puddings, but I saw these and I usually have these like when I go to festivals and that kind of thing. And these are Yorkshire pudding wraps. So I thought I'd make those chicken sausages I brought with some vegetables and put them in wraps instead. And with some gravy. So that was one ninety five for two of those. Picked up some bean sprouts. Those were, I think they were 60, 70p. So that's for ramen. And then this macaroni. I did need, um, I think it's called Ditalini, I can't pronounce it. It's a slightly smaller looking pasta, the macaroni, um, for my minestrone soup, but they didn't have any, so I figured that would work just as well. And I think it will, to be honest, so that was ATP. This is for sandwiches, I think this was 75p for the reduced fat version. And this Greek yogurt, which was £1.10, um, I think slightly more than other supermarkets. Um, I'm gonna have that with some breakfast. With again, I could have sworn I ordered strawberries. Mm. I'm gonna have to check my shopping. I, I think I did forget though. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go out and get some more strawberries. <laughs> um, anyway, my plan was to have that with the strawberries and then uh, with chai seeds on top because I've heard these are a good source of like fiber and stuff. And um, having top of these with one pound ten like um a healthier breakfast so it was my idea but it's, um, I'm always forgetting stuff um I picked up some monkey potatoes I picked up a kilogram bag now this um is different than what I thought it showed kind of big potatoes on the image but I guess you can't tell with one key but these are more like um baby potatoes but it doesn't matter because they're just for like roast potatoes anyway so I'll just pop those in the air fryer not a problem for us so and then I just got some green beans these were one pound ten because I keep needing these lately um so I just thought if I get them in the freezer and stuff then it'll save me just buying the 70p packs randomly all the time picked up that I picked up some summer fruits this was 195 which I thought was a good price uh, for the family size juice because usually that's like 350 so I think that was on offer at the moment um picked up these black pepper peppercorns because i brought uh, I think, oh yeah um these electric ones from amazon these were i think 12.99 um so picked up some peppercorns for that that was a bit expensive these were three pound fifteen but that will last for like six months or so breakfast bars and um, for me to take for my work they were one one forty nine and these are the blueberry ones I've never had these ones before um so I picked up my partner's Maltese and he's got some beer as a treat for his new job tomorrow. He's really nervous about it um so I just want to cheer him up a little bit so these were one fifty for that. Um got a Dr Pepper these were that was one ninety five or they were two for three fifty but I didn't I didn't need two because I did have the cans, but obviously they've broken. <laughs> I just picked up these egg noodles. These were one ninety five. Um, these are kind of the only egg noodles I prefer in my ramen, to be honest. I keep trying different brands and I never like them as much, so I should probably just stick to those and <laughs> learn my lesson. Um, I just got random mixed herbs. So that was ATP. Um, time one down there. That was again ATP. I picked up two chicken teriyaki pot noodles or cup noodles. I prefer the katsu brand, but they only had this flavour. I think they were one seventy-five each. These were a pound at the minute on offer. Very often, so um, I just thought I'd treat myself to <laughs> to tomatoes. <laughs> um, so I got those, um, and then I picked up. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. These were three for four fifty. So I know at the moment you can get the Sainsbury's Hanes stuff for seventy-five p, which was where I was going to shop. However, I think everyone had the same idea as me and all the slots were booked up, so couldn't shop there. <laughs> so these were, yeah, three for 4 50 I got bolognese and two 
spaghetti sausages. Um, got cream of tomato soup because I'm going to make a cheeseburger pasta bake and uh, just a random minestrone soup if I run out of stuff to take to work. I think that was about 75p. And these were £1.40. These were four chicken four chicken stock pots. 40 I think they were two for two fifty, but I'm trying to stop him buying off his if I don't need to. That's kind of my, I don't know if that's sensible or not, but <laughs> that's what I was doing. So I just bought those. I picked up uh wheat bixies were three pound fifty which are probably gonna last me about a month to be honest because I've got to use my protein shakes and stuff first so they won't really get eaten any time soon but they was on offer for three pounds so I thought I might as well pick those up and then these are my partner's cereal which I think was three pound fifty which is the crunchy knot um I then picked up some bottled water so this was two pound for a pack of twelve I usually drink um uh, I've not got it with me but I've got a two litre bottle that I take to work a lot and I have that because the water at work's okay and nice but I can't drink the water at home because it, it tastes so metallic it's disgusting and I just can't do it <laughs> yeah I still want water when I'm at home so I've picked up those for that uh, I've picked up a bottle of wine for myself I'm probably gonna have this on Wednesday because I'm not off work till then so that was Four four seventy five. I picked up a korma. This I'm gonna make a curry in that new slow cooker of mine. Um, so that was one seventy five. Items I got this as my partner's like congratulations. So there was this is the Signa Thai beer, and we have this when we go to Thai restaurants, and he really loves it. Um, so I saw that on my since so I thought I'd treat him to those. They were four for eight pounds, so they worked for about two pounds each. Found nine at the back for six double rolls of toilet paper. Um two, I think it was either two forty nine or two sixty. Um just move my drink. <laughs> um yeah, just for eggs. I forgot the word then. But <laughs> that I've got to last me the next two weeks or so. Um pretty sure that's well more than enough. Um but yeah, that's my shop from Morrison's. I, I'm not sure if I'll shop there again with the prices and without a voucher. I'm not. I'm not too sure. We'll see how nice the food is. Um. But yeah, that's everything I've got to show you this time around. So thank you so much for joining, and I shall speak to you again soon. Bye.